so I've just woken up from a nap, quite a long nap, it's quarter to seven. Me and Bella are in here, she's just here next to me, napping as well. Evan's napping on his hammock, but I can hear that it's raining. Uh, it's probably been raining for half an hour, an hour. I think it's going to be raining most of the night now as well. So we've got to cook dinner. I don't want to go out there, <laughs> I just want to stay in here. Oh. Alright, let's go see if Evan is surviving out there. It's probably quite nice under the tarpaulin with the rain and just hearing it like drip on the tarpaulin. I get the same thing in here. Let's go wake him up. Morning. Sweetie. Do you have to scare me every time? <laughs> You okay? No, because you scared me. <laughs> Did you have a nice nap? Mm. Yeah? yeah? You look snug as a bug in a rug. Like a little caterpillar in its cocoon. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a butterfly yet. You're not a butterfly yet? No. You need a bit longer? Yeah. Did you, are you getting wet? No. You are okay? Yeah. Is it actually raining? Yeah. You can't hear the rain. Yeah, I guess I, I, guess I can. Should I make you a cup of coffee? Please. Okay, okay. So the rain has broken for a little bit. We managed to get a fire going, which is much better than yesterday's attempt at a fire. Hopefully this keeps going. Went for teepee style. Fire lighter in the middle, kindling on top, and then making a teepee out of all the bigger bits of wood. I'm nice and warm. Bella's nice and warm with me as well. I think she's gonna sleep well after this. I'm gonna get dinner going in a minute. Tonight we're having halloumi burgers. We're gonna try cook it over the campfire rather than it on the barbecue. I think Evan's just gonna stand there with the grill from the barbecue and cook them. We'll see how it goes. So we've got halloumi burgers in brioche buns. Hopefully it's a bit better than the cinnamon rolls were this morning. And hopefully our fire keeps burning. much 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 better last night so I was in a tent on my own and then Evan was in his hammock well I wasn't on my own I had Bella I had Bella with me the birds WD40 weren't as loud last night and I slept all the way in until about 8am which was quite nice but the problem that I have is my pillow isn't very comfortable it's like an inflatable cheap it was probably a pound but I deflated it quite a lot last night so it was a bit more comfortable and Bella slept with me and she was very good sometimes she gets a bit licky and sniffy but she was okay last night and Evan slept in his hammock which apparently was enjoyable it was actually all right I went in the sleeping bag to begin with and I was way too warm because uh, the under blanket is actually working really nicely so then I got out of the sleeping bag and put it on top of me like a cover and that worked a little bit better so I was at a normal temperature most of the night I don't think it got that cold I don't know what the actual outside temperature was but I don't think it was that cold yeah that's fine so now we're gonna have a cup of tea and a waffle and then we'll do our proper breakfast, which is ham and cheese croissants. Croissants! Um, hopefully they will be a little bit more successful than the cinnamon swirls that I did yesterday morning. I don't know how we're going to do them. They're wrapped in foil and we just want it to be toasted and the cheese to melt a little bit. It's so probably just on the stove in the foil. I have no idea. Maybe we'll just eat them cold. 
I don't want a cold one. You want like nice toasty croissant with melted cheese? We'll see what happens. We don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. There was an attempt to heat up a croissant, but it didn't work. This is cold. There's a small burnt sliver. The rest is cold. There we go. That's how we cook here at the campsite. That's how we do our food. Bend them on the outside, frozen on the inside. Maximum taste. That weird. Yeah, I think it's the, uh, something's burning. Something's burning in there. I think we're gonna start getting ready to go home, start packing. Well, the tarp is probably gonna take about three hours to take down because of all the rope that we used. The rest, we're getting quite good. Last time the tent didn't take us too long to pack away. And then uh, an hour and a half drive home or two hours, however long it is. And then more unpacking when we go home. That's the worst part, I think, about camping. Having to unpack all the things from the car and sort them out. Some things need cleaning. Oh, it's just, it's not nice. But it has to be done. If you want your kids to last long, you gotta do it. Otherwise, you're gonna have wet tents and moldy sleeping bags and stuff like that. It's been nice. The site has been fantastic. We really like the site. We definitely wanna come back here as a bigger group with friends. The weather wasn't perfect, but we're in the UK, so that's to be expected. Bella has enjoyed it quite a bit. I think she's gonna be quite tired when we go home. Current situation isn't great, is it? No, it's not. It's raining yep. quite a bit. Yeah, the ground is muddy. Our tarp is pooling water. Yeah, our amazing uh, tap design uh, didn't uh, didn't work out in the end. And we're trying to pack up, so we're putting everything under this tarp. The, the tent itself. We've got a nice puddle of water down here. It's muddy as hell. We've got a wet dog. I'm all wet and muddy. Not ideal when you want to pack up and it starts raining like this. Can you hear it? Can you see it? All the water droplets on the tarp. It is part of camping and any campers that go often will know that this is normal in the UK. So it just means that when we get home, we have to put our tent back up so that it dries and we don't store it wet because it will get moldy. Plus to be fair, there's a lot of dirt and sticks and leaves in there. So we'll put it up to give it a clean anyway. I'm just excited to get in the warm and have a cup of tea. Got a shower system going on over here. Excellent tarpauling design. I don't think Bella likes it very much, do you? We have a wet dog. Wet, muddy, cold dog. Well, I've looked better. So we've packed everything up. We're waiting for the site owner, Chris, to bring his 4x4 and the trailer on the back, load all the stuff in there, drive it up here for us load it into our car. I put Bella in her cage because she got really wet and she's in there with a load of blankets and towels. I'm soaked. I've got some clean dry clothes to change into which I'm really excited about. I walked up the track here which is now really muddy and wet in my Crocs <laughs> and mud was just oozing through the holes so my feet and socks are soaked. Not good. Not a good look. Not a good look. I don't know if you can see how muddy my trousers are. My Crocs. So I'm here with the car waiting to unload everything. Evan is down at the site, the pitch, loading everything up with Chris and then he's got his tarp all in one day but we left that last minute to give us some rain protection. Everything is unloaded and put back in the car. I'm sure when Evan gets here he's going to criticise the way that I have put it in the car because he's not going to be able to see out of the back window. I was rushing because I didn't want Chris to waste all of his time with us. Another wet dog. Oh, all packed up. Yeah? Yeah, it was just a tarp and uh, 20 kilometers of rope. <laughs> Did you manage to untie it all? Yeah, yeah, it took a while, but we got there. And that's our camping trip. June something to June something. <laughs> June. Should we hit the road? Let's hit the road, let's go home. I'll go say bye to Chris. Home time! We've done it. 
It's done, completed. Second camping trip of the year. Hour and 44 to get home, and probably another hour and 44 to unpack. Uh, it is by far the worst part. All right, see you on the flip side. See you on the flip side. What's see you on the flip side? Flip side, mm. a skyster. I will see you there, or I will see you on another time. <laughs>